Hey, Abby, I have some eye candy for you. Look at that. Okay. Jack LaLanne. Remember him? The godfather of fitness. Okay, so a local fitness guru wrote this book about him, and he uses Jack's philosophies to train, such as resistance training. Coming up, he's going to teach us how you, too, can stay in shape well into your 80s and 90s. All right, well, he is considered the godfather of fitness. He opened his first health club. He had the first TV show dedicated to fitness, and he invented several weight machines that you use today. And I definitely remember seeing this guy. Oh, he was always so ripped. Yes. A local health club owner just wrote a book about him. Matt Stewart is live at AYC Health and Fitness in Prairie Village with more. Hey, Matt. Good morning. Yeah, I mean, Jack LaLanne passed away, what, about nine years ago, and he was ripped at the age of 96. I mean, man, if only we could all look this good, right? But he worked hard for it, and he was such a promoter of health and fitness. And one of his disciples is Greg Justice, the owner of AYC Health and Fitness in Prairie Village, which stands for? At your convenience. <laughs> so you didn't really necessarily train with him, but you really just learn from him, right? I, I learned from him. He was my original mentor in the fitness industry. As so many of us, it came from the 1980s, the early 1980s, when the world of bodybuilding and aerobics collided and created a whole new opportunity to, for fitness entrepreneurs. And so 50 years after Jack opened his, the very first modern day health spa, I opened Kansas City's original personal fitness training center right here in Kansas City. So why did you write this book with his widow, Elaine? Well, I do a lot of traveling and speaking to the uh, industry, to the fitness industry, and I always talk about leaving your legacy. And when I would mention Jack's name, I could look across the crowd and see that about half of the people had no idea who I was talking about. And that bothered me because Jack LaLanne is solely responsible for what this industry is today. And so it was important for me to make sure that my original mentor was recognized for what he did and what he gave to the industry. And so Elaine, his wife, uh, we call her Lala, <laughs> Lala LaLanne, um, she and I put this book together. Uh, in memory of Jack to show all of his feats of strength and all of the things that he is responsible for in this industry. He was the first to work with women and weights, the first to work with athletes and weights, with the disabled in weight training. Well, and he created like weight machines. He did. The, the selector weight machine he created, the what we call the Smith machine, he called it the squat machine back in the day, the leg extension, so much he's responsible for creating. Even the first resistance band exercise program. He called it Glamour Stretch. And let's talk about that, okay? Yeah. So I know there's a lot of folks out there that like to work out, but as you age, right, you get a little, your joints are hurting. It's, it's a lot harder. And you're saying instead of, so Nancy's back here. She's got the dumbbell. So Nancy, give us a little exercise. And especially like if you did a little kind of a lunge there, that could be tough on the knees if you're just working with dumbbells, right? Yeah. Uh, weights can be a little more aggressive on the joints. And resistance band training is a lot easier on those joints. In fact, we can show her doing the resistance band side lunge right here resistance band there you go and why is it? Is it, is it? I mean, why would resistance bands maybe be better than uh, weights? Again, it's the gravity pulling on the weights. It's just more aggressive on the joints. And the beauty of resistance band is you can change. You can make it from elastic to plastic in a second by going out further. You can change the resistance just on the snap of a finger. So as you age, resistance band training might be better suited for you. And talk about the importance of why you should stay in shape well into your 60s, 70s, 80s. Well, I had just mentioned to you on the, there's a quote on the back of my shirt that, and it's my favorite quote from Jack LaLanne. Well, why don't you says, turn around and show everyone so we can read it. What does it say? It says your health account, your bank account, they're the same thing. The more you put in, the more you can take out. And I'm an example of that right now after breaking my ankle and having surgery. How did you break your ankle? Three days ago. Well, my goal is to become the oldest American Ninja Warrior to complete a course. And so I like to swing from ceilings. And I swung on a 10-foot ceiling and missed my mark and came down half on a mat 
and half off and broke a bone in my ankle, but it's all good because, again, I am able to take from that bank account of health and heal, and I will come back stronger and better than ever. So, well, and how old are you? I am almost 62 years old. And so resistance training is a big part of your workout regimen. 100%. And I still do weight training. I do resistance band training. I do a lot of rope climbing. I do... Uh, body weight conditioning, and Jack was a big advocate of body weight conditioning. You don't need a lot of fancy equipment. You can use your body when you travel, a resistance band or your body weight for exercise. I love it, Greg. And so obviously, you know, do what Jack did, right? You want to look like this at the age of 62? Do what Jack did. Um, by the way, if you go to gregjustice.com, you can learn more about Greg and his philosophies when it comes to working out. And then this book is available on Amazon as well. So coming over next hour, we're going to talk more about Jack LaLanne and his influence on the entire bodybuilding and working out industry, guys. Yeah, I, he, he's something, but I'm a big fan of uh, Greg there. Yeah. Greg's pretty he, inspiring too. Very. <laughs> right? I Swinging know. from the rafters at I, the age of 62. I, I think we're we gonna need video that. of that when he's back up swinging in the rafters, because that sounds <laughs> right. entertaining. Right. All right, Matt, thank you. <laughs>